going on guys Trey Carter back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web with another six star review video and the one who's going to be reviewing today is going to be Dia guys so we you know her six star just recently released here so what you're going to need to evolve is going to be a miracle totem fire totem two fire parts a metal mimic and 500,000 zen so let's go ahead and evolve her guys let's do it do it to it hmm I can feel all sorts of bits and pieces of power flowing through me. Alright guys, 6 star Dia for the win. So big shout out to my boy Grazul. Uh, that's the name of Dia's dragon, that big old dragon behind her. Yeah, his name is Grazul and it's pretty cool looking. But, uh, Dia is the focus here so let's uh, review it guys. Inferno Princess Dia is a 6 star fire element unit. Mine is Lord type which balances the stats all the way across no increases no decreases no stat changes whatsoever cost of 26 uh, approximate max stats for lower type deal is 5643 HP 2190 attack 1433 defense and 1948 recovery now I had the option of leveling up two breaker types because that's I have three deals total I have two lords and a breaker actually and I went ahead and went with the lower type because uh, that breaker type with that only breaker type has approximately 1245 defense and that is atrociously low to me um, she will just get hit hard if someone knocks her upside the head so I decided to go with the lord type just go ahead and I mean she still has over 2000 attack as a lord so I figured I'd just keep that the way it is and keep the boosted defense instead I think that's a smarter choice Okay, leader skill is called Five Light Spirit. It's basically the same exact leader skill as Loden, um, Imperial Drake Loden. So, um, pretty good. She can be a decent rainbow leader just like Loden. Um, and the wonderful thing about it as well is that uh, she also adds Thunder Element just like Loden. But she's a fire unit. So, um, nice rainbow leader here guys for sure one of the more preferred if you want to use her over loading for some reason um, I personally wouldn't but she's still pretty good guys so her BB is called curse 3 Polton. it takes 22 BC's to fill and what it does is a 14 combo random fire elemental attack on all enemies and adds thunder element to attack for three turns so um there's that it's all right I'm not a big fan of the uh, random deal, but it is what it is. And then her SBB is called Forbidden Curse, Methachronon. And it takes 20 BCs to fill that. And what it is, is a 16 combo, powerful fire attack on all enemies. And adds another element to the attack and boosts BC production for three turns. So, um... Wouldn't be bad to have her on the spark squad because she actually does a decent amount of hits guys 16 hits is actually pretty decent decent um, For a, a unlimited BB squad. It's not bad So um, if your choices are limited deal wouldn't be a bad option um, until you get something better and Then her normal attack comes in at 10 hits and then as we just discussed the BB does 14 the SBB does 16 and I gotta sell a few items before we go on our test drive. So let's sell a few items here really quick. We need to sell a couple. And we can get back back on the trail here. Stupid items. <laughs> okay. Now that that's out of the way, let's go take D on our test run. See what she's all about. So Grazul is really cool. Just want you guys to know that. That's why a lot of uh, a lot of other summoners like her as well because of Grazul. All right, Boop, there she is, ready to go, baby. <laughs> All right, so let's make sure the battle effects are on. You guys can get the full experience. All right, let's check out her attack. Roar. Yeah, buddy. Her and Grazul working in tandem, boy, what a nice team. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into uh, 
the story of Dia. So Dia is a mage residing in the outskirts of the Agni Empire. She learned the dark arts from her grandmother at a very young age. At the age of 14, she was blossoming into a powerful sorceress alongside her baby fire dragon, Grazul, when her grandmother passed away. In her grandmother's storage closet was a vast library of both grimoires and romance novels. Her flashy way of dressing is either from the influence of her late grandmother or these books, but it has become commonplace for her nonetheless. So one day, a letter of summons arrived from the Atharva Republic claiming her late grandmother had leaked imperial secrets. Hoping to clear her grandmother's name, she headed to the capital along with her faithful dragon Grazul. There, she had the shocking realization that her grandmother had been a famous Atharvian sorceress. Through fighting off the gods, attacks in this complex emotional state, she realized she was far superior to any normal human mage. So her emotions kind of drove her once the battle of the gods came down, guys. Her bravery in the battle against the gods struck the fancy of Knight Agni, who invited her to join the Imperial Army. However, she refused, instead heading onward to her late grandmother's mansion in the Atharva Republic to find out more about her childhood hero. It was there she found her grandmother's hidden diary containing the secrets of her birth. That was all it took for her and Grazul to charge straight at the gods at breakneck speeds. So I'm guessing Dia found out some juicy information and she just wanted to take those guys out at this point, guys. Alright, let's check out the BB. Curse 3, Poltan. Woo! Burning up some things. Adding that thunder element. Sweet. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So if you ain't got a loading, guys, um, she wouldn't be a bad replacement, honestly. If you ever do get loading, though, I personally would put loading in over her. But um, if you don't have access to a loading, but you happen to have a deer, um, definitely use her. She's a nice substitute. Alright guys, so pros and cons as far as uh, Dia goes. Um, cool looking, I think. Very cool looking unit. But um, because she's basically a loading um, with a few differences, um, she is not that bad, guys. Um, like I said, she'll be the perfect replacement for a loading if you don't have one. Um, because she has the same leader skill, she does still spark decently just like Loden does. But instead of filling BB gauges with an SBB, she just increases the BC production. So, I mean, it's kind of the same thing if you really look at it. Um, so, she's she's honestly not bad at all, guys. It's just me personally, I like Loden more. Just my preference. But um, she can be a good Loden replacement. So, I would give her um, an A-. minus. I mean, really, though, she doesn't really have much in the ways of cons, honestly, besides low defense. I mean, that's really it. Her defense statistically is very low, so um, anima type and guardian type probably the most preferred types to get of her uh, because you either get the you get increased survivability either way. Anima with the HP, guardian with the defense. So, but um, I definitely give her an A minus, guys. Not a bad unit at all. Perfect loading replacement if you don't have one. And, um, that's about it for deal. So, hope you guys enjoyed this six star review. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. And of course, I will be back at your screen with more Brave Frontier Global soon, guys. Later.